thank you for watching the Repedia World videos. Today we will be talking about the sales down payment invoice. In this video I will like to cover about the sales down payment invoicing within the SAP Business One. Let us first start with the definition of the down payment just to set the base of this video. A typical a definition of the down payment would be a type of payment made in cash during the onset of the purchase of an expensive good service. The payment typically represents only a percentage of the full purchase price. In some cases, it is not refundable if the deal falls through. Financing arrangements are made by the purchaser to cover the remaining amount owed to the seller. This is a typical definition of down payment. Now these definitions can vary from business to business as well. Now reasons for the down payment. Reasons for the down payment can be special order fulfillment, large quantities order, benefit of discount percentage, first time business. There can be a product that the customer order and that product the manufacturer does not make regularly. So the manufacturer to be on the safer side would ask the customer to pay some percentage of the document total so that the special order fulfillment can be done. Large quantities order that means the customer may, may have ordered a product in large quantities and for the manufacturer to make sure that the uh, the deal may not get cancelled, uh, the manufacturer may ask for a down payment. Then customer may itself interested to do a down payment that is because of the benefit of the discount percentage that they may get on the document total. And lastly, it can be that the first time these two parties are coming for a business. So just to set the base for the coming or the future business, they may have a down payment. Now, these four reasons are not the universal reason for a down payment. These four reasons can vary from business to business. Let's see what we'll be looking in this video. We'll see our business partner. Uh, we'll see, we'll start with the sales quotation, the sales order, uh, the down payment invoicing, the delivery and the banking. So we'll try to build this relationship map within this video. This is my sales uh, down payment invoicing first step for that relationship map that we saw just. This is my business partner. Here you can see that there are some bar bar graphs what i can do i can simply click on any of these and what it the, what the system will do will open a, a report like this so this is the sales analysis report by the customer these reports we will study in detail in the coming sessions sales quotation this is my sales quotation you can see that the origin is blanket agreement 2 you can see all the line items have been a copied from the blanket agreement to their quantities, their unit price, discounts or the tax code and other things as well. Now one may question that why there are two discount percentages. It is very simple that this discount percentage what you will mention here will be applicable to only the first line item and this discount percentage will be applicable to the whole uh, or the document total here. So uh, depending on the business to uh, business scenarios, uh, one may put a discount percentage on the line item as well or, or only on the on the document total. I have copied that sales quotation to sales order. You can see based on the sales quotation 362, we can see now the reason we are seeing less quantities from the sales quotation is because when I was you know, copying that sales quotation and when I was uh, adding the sales order, the system asked me about the item of availability check and I said that uh, let me choose whatever is in, in stock and then the system automatically put in the quantity uh, that was in stock for me. The amount of the deal is very high so the manufacturer would like to have a down payment from the customer and uh, my down payment percentage is 30 that I have mentioned here. So the customer is paying me 30% of the document total or of the total deal. You can see here. You can see that the 
status is open and it is the first invoice or first down payment invoice what I do I deliver those goods also we can see that these are based on the previous documents blanket agreement sales quotation sales order now you can see that this is my this is again the sales down payment invoice and this is the second number of the document and the status is closed this is the full payment of the deal we have built our relationship map we have gone through sales quotation sales order two down payment invoices delivery and incoming payments now there can be only a single down payment invoice and directly an AR invoice delivery incoming payments thank you